Washington, November 13, Reuters. U.S. House of Representatives Speaker Mike Johnson's plan to avoid a partial government shutdown secured tentative support from top Senate Democrat Chuck Schumer on Monday, even as some of Johnson's hardline Republican colleagues pushed back against it. Senate Majority Leader Schumer, whose support would be critical to pass the measure to head off a government shutdown beginning on Saturday, said he was pleased that Johnson's proposal did not include sharp spending cuts. The Speaker's proposal is far from perfect, but the most important thing is it refrains from making steep cuts, said Schumer, who stopped short of backing the idea. However, before the bill can move to the Senate, it will need to clear the House, where at least seven of Johnson's fellow Republicans signaled opposition to his two-step continuing resolution, or CR, which would keep federal agencies operating at current funding levels. Representative Chip Roy, a prominent hardliner, blasted the measure for its absence of spending cuts and conservative policies, and because it would extend food assistance for poor families to September 30th. Without changes, the Texas Republicans said he would oppose efforts to bring the bill to the floor. We got nothing, nothing, Roy told reporters. I'm certainly talking to my colleagues about our concerns. And I certainly hope that this bill is not going to proceed as it's currently structured. Top House Democrat Hakeem Jeffries said he was carefully evaluating Johnson's proposal. Despite an unusual structure that sets different funding deadlines for different parts of the government, Johnson's CR amounts to a clean bill without spending cuts, policy provisions or other strings attached. The kind of measure that led to the historic ouster of his predecessor, Kevin McCarthy, by his right flank. Congress is engaged in its third fiscal showdown this year following a months-long spring standoff over the nation's more than $31 trillion in debt, which brought the federal government to the brink of default. The ongoing partisan gridlock, accentuated by fractures within the narrow 221-212 House Republican majority, led Moody's late on Friday to lower its U.S. credit rating outlook to negative from stable as it noted that high interest rates would continue to drive borrowing costs higher. The nation's deficit hit $1.695 trillion in the fiscal year ended September 30. The plan would need to pass the Democratic-majority Senate and be signed into law by President Joe Biden by midnight on Friday to avoid disrupting pay for up to 4 million federal workers shuttering national parks and hobbling everything from financial oversight to scientific research.